Hi guys, Johnny Good here for Real Home Studio today, taking a look at Loads, the DSR from Analog Obsession. And just before we dive straight in, a reminder that if you want to get on the fast track to better mixes, then sign up to realhomestudio.com and get access to your free six-part mixing course, the Virtual Console. Okay, so here we are with loads from Analog Obsession, a brand new de to the Analog Obsession uh, collection. Great to see a new Analog Obsession plugin uh, on the block. This is kind of like a de Plus. Uh, it's got some cool features on it. Uh, including those really nice VU meters right at the top here. Really like uh, to see the reduction level as you do you know, on a lot of compressors. Uh, and, you know, essentially, Deesser is a, uh, a focused compressor on that high end. So it's really nice to see the reduction levels on that VU meter. I find that really handy. Uh, then below there, let's just go through the plugin. Um, threshold control to dial in how much we want uh, the Deesser to dig in. Below that, we've got a release knob, which is cool. Um, you know, keep it pretty quick for um, pretty natural, transparent sounds. And below that, we've got a mix knob as well, which is um, really handy uh, uh, feature to have on your DSer. Um, and then you've got your input and output, and you can uh, switch your plug-in on and off uh, just there too. You've also got these two buttons here. Uh, you've got your band knob, which is going to change uh, the band type of your uh, DSer according to the documentation. And we've also got this soft knob here, which, when engaged, uh, makes uh, the DSer a little bit more transparent, a little bit uh, softer. And that's actually pretty uh, cool. We'll come back to that in a bit. So let's um, let's just uh, engage uh, DSer onto a lead vocal first of all and take a listen to it in action. Okay, so let's start out with our vocal. Uh, I've cranked in quite a lot of high end uh, in the EQ just so we can really take a good listen as to uh, what loads is up to. Um, and there's also quite a lot of S's and sh in, in this particular uh, section which I've chosen. Let's just take a listen without uh, loads engaged. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. So plenty of sibilance going on. So first off, I'm just gonna start cranking in the threshold. I've got a pretty quick release time uh, and I'm going 100% wet. Uh, so we'll dial in first off just with those settings and I'll just bring in some threshold. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. Straight off the bat, uh, a minus 12 dB on the threshold. You can see that kicking in pretty uh, quickly and effectively and you can hear it too. What a big difference. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. That was pretty easy, hey. If we're going to go further on the threshold, things are going to get a bit lispy uh, and a bit, uh, a bit on the unnatural side. Let's take a listen. And if I get a chance, I'm going to give him the slip. I'm going to dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. Just give me half a chance and I'll try. Although I never be... So at that point, it's really digging in. But also, it's getting quite dark. Um, so it's um, starting to really... Uh, affect um, the sort of EQ decisions that I made earlier in the mix. Now that's with this uh, set quite extremely. That's where this soft control can come in. Let me just dial it back a little bit. If I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit. You can hear when I turn it off. There's quite a big difference. In it. Just give me half a chance and I'll try. And then back on. Although I never Sounding a little bit muffled uh, with loads engaged, and that's where this soft control can be really handy. Uh, so let me just bring that in and out, and you can hear. Uh, loads just becoming um, somewhat more transparent. I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. Just give me half a chance and I'll try. Although I never be like Elvis, I won't ever wear the company tie. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. Back on. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. So that soft engage uh, allows the DSer to do the work it needs to do in terms of compression the high end, but without letting so, so much of that sort of darkness uh, and character through from the plugin. Let me just demonstrate that um, with the plugin being on and off. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give him the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and sit and shiver in it. Just give me half a chance and I'll try. 
Although I never be like Elvis, I won't ever wear the company. Yeah, so it's really effective, um, that control. So then you've, um, depending on your material and what kind of style you want, um, you can either choose to allow some of the analog uh, sort of character to come through the plugin, or you can engage soft. And again, it's not going to really affect too much of the past EQ decisions you've done or uh, over color the signal, but give you all the benefits still of, uh, you know, your material getting DS'd and losing some of those problem frequencies. Again, um, another thing you can do chance, I'm gonna give the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole and shiver. is use your dry wet mix as well. So you can, um, you know, go quite hard in and then choose how much you want of that to apply to the signal. It's a few ways to use uh, loads. It's a really nice flexible plug-in. Uh, and uh, very effective, does the job really well, DS in the vocals. What I'm going to do now is just show you on the uh, back and vocals as well. And as is also recommended by Analog Obsession to give it a, a try on your drum bus, we're going to have a go also at DSing and taming some of that cymbal sound. Okay, so back in vocals, let's just take a listen without loads engaged. Never get a chance, I'm going to give him the slip. I'm going to dig myself, horns it, shiver in it. Plenty of S's going on there. Let's DS them courtesy of Never loads. Never get a chance, I'm going to give him the slip. I'm going to dig myself, horns it, shiver in it. So you can see loads uh, digging in nicely. Once again, if you want that to be more transparent, let's engage uh, the soft control. So loads doing its job really nicely. Um, all the vocals together. And if I get a chance, I'm gonna give them the slip. I'm gonna dig myself a hole, sit and shiver in it. Just give me half a chance and I'll try. Although I'll never be like Elvis, I will never wear the company tie. And finally, we've got loads loaded up on a drum bus. I purposely got these drums to sound um, quite toppy and uh, a bit brittle and biscuity, uh, just because I want to show you guys what loads can do. Uh, so let's take a listen to the drums as they are. Let's engage loads and just dial in some of the thresholds. Full whack. You can really hear how dark that's uh, made the drums. Engage soft. When you've got soft engage once again, you can really see the needle moving and doing its job, but it's a lot smoother, a lot more transparent. Just depends what you're after on the material, really. There you go, guys. That's uh, loads. The DSR from Analog Obsession. Really cool. It's like a DSR Plus. Uh, well worth checking out and going grabbing from Analog Obsession, as are so many plugins which I've reviewed on this channel. I really hope you enjoyed that video today. If you did, please remember to like, subscribe, go check out realhomestudio.com, and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Most importantly, guys, have yourself a great day.